Hi Pisces! This is your December 2016 tarot reading and today we're going to use two decks. Okay, We're going to pull one card from uh, the Archetype deck. This is all the different personality traits and characteristics we have and uh, parts of us that come up, you know, they're always coming up, parts of us, and how it's affecting you either negatively or positively. Okay, and how to change it if it's negative. And that's kind of going to be the flavor of the month for you. It's going to be the feel. It's going to be, um, you know, what December, the fragrance in the air for December. Okay? Uh, so we're going to keep that card in mind. And then we're going to use our Rock and Roll Tarot deck. Okay? And this deck is super awesome because it has words on it. Okay? And um, some words stick out to you while I might read other ones. And then that would just more personalize your reading for you. And uh, kind of take general readings to the next level, which is why I love this deck. So you guys might get something, uh, you know, even more out of it than what I display in this reading. Okay. So that's why we got the camera turned around. And that's probably a good thing. <laughs> So let's get started uh, with your cards, okay? Um, your, I'm going to just do a quick shuffle. Okay. I shuffled these pretty good, but we're just going to wait till some cards pop out at us. Okay, here's your first card. It is Mystic. So this is going to be the physical position. This is what you're doing, what your environment's like, and, you know, what's going on. Okay, the second card, the second position is going to be a mental and um, emotional position. So it's going to be what you're thinking and feeling, you know, because one usually leads to the other. Uh, if we usually think a sad thought, you know, we usually feel pretty sad. So we, we stick both of those together. Okay, this one's coming out and we got the sun. Nice. And the third and final position is going to be your spiritual position. So this is like, what, what are you going to experience? What are you going to learn? What are the lessons? And that card is, ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Now let's get your archetype card. And your archetype card is Mentor. <laughs> so it says, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. Inability, and then negative attributes down here are inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master, imparting false instruction. Okay. Um, so if you're in, fall in the negative, the inability to let someone you're teaching uh, kind of take over their own reins or uh, if you're not teaching all of it so that you know you can have an eternal student those are things you might want to stay away from but for the majority of you it's gonna be passing on wisdom and refining students character which you might already be doing thinking about doing or this is your sign to do it okay so I'll keep this here and uh, so you can pause it and look at it and read it if you want. Okay, um, but remember this is going to affect what you do, how you feel and what you think, and what you experience. Mentor, okay? Some of you might do some mentoring, okay? That's a great thing, okay? People, I think sometimes people need a mentor even when they especially when they feel like they don't, you know, uh, the most. Um, so let's move into your cards with this in mind. Okay, keep this mentor card in mind. I'm going to keep popping it in for you, okay? Um, so as a physical, what's going on? What are you doing? We have the Queen of Cups, okay? The Queen of Emotion, the... the the receiver of love, okay? Uh, it says seer, mystic. So these are some pretty big words, okay? Deep. So what are you doing? 
some of you might be doing this tarot reading, right? Some of you might be picking that up, you know, you say, hey, I see all these people doing it. I want to try it. December's a great month to try. Put it on your, your gift list, you know. Um, but it is a bigger picture. What you're doing with the Queen of Cups is you're nurturing, you're um, nourishing, you're finding ways to uh, quench the emotional needs of others around you. And um, you might be, you know, this is super intuitive. She is um, asking ye shall receive with her. So your intuition might be on point this month. Uh, you may ha um, be feeling very connected to self or very connected to, um, you know, the relaxa relaxation energy of water. And it's, it's making you you know, a seer, uh, somebody who maybe you're just, for some of you, it might just be that you're feeling very intuitive or you're feeling like, um, maybe not feeling, but you're actually doing these things because this is, we got to remember this, you're physical. So you're physically, um, acting on your, your gut instinct or your intuition, if you will. Okay. Um, or this could just say that you're looking into the more mystical of uh, things in life, okay? The, the more mystical aspects of life. Um, maybe you're seeing truths. Maybe you're looking within and digging into your emotions, and you're seeing more clearly because of that. You're going deep, okay? And uh, this card being your thought and your emotion card, it's like your thoughts are happy, they're, you know, they're light on the lighter side, uh, whereas these are deep and have lots of feelings. These have feelings too, but they're lighter and happier and, you know, this is brilliance. You're, you're, you might, because this is in your thoughts and feelings position, you might have a brilliant idea. Like, you might come up with something uh, that's just absolutely brilliant and it's and it's like you thought it up, you you slept on it, and you woke up in the morning. It's going to be like dreams. Um, because, first of all, she dreams. So dreaming is an act. So we can say that you could, for some of you, could be having some real, real good dreams. And you could actually dream up ideas. You could actually, like, not know something before you go to bed or be wanting to figure something out to do. And then come up with an idea. And then you go to sleep and you wake up with the idea. Okay, so this is like one of those, like when your your feelings and your thoughts are lining up, um, and the energy is right here. Okay, so you're feeling good, you're thinking, you know, of happy times, and you're seeing happy times. Okay, because you're seeing that maybe what you're doing is making you happy. Okay. And, and this is mystic, okay? Now, some people think of mystic differently. This can fall under everything metaphysical. This can be spiritual. This can be religious for some of you. This can be intuitive for some of you. This can just be... Um, this can also be relating to others, okay? This is what you're doing. You're, like, connecting and relating with others, okay? Whatever these words mean to you is, okay, in the mystic form um, is what you're doing. You're getting into, you know, the bones of tradition, okay? And um, and your thoughts and your feelings are light, airy, happy. Um, you know, you know things. If things have been low in the past, they'll be better soon. And they will be, okay? Because your thoughts lead to actions. So now let's move on to spiritual card. The spiritual card for you, Pisces, is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? A increase, new money. Maybe, you, maybe you're doing some. Maybe you're doing this, like you're doing tarot readings, like I do, and you're making some money on it, or like you had a brilliant idea. Maybe separate and aside from the mysticism of the Queen of Cups, okay? Maybe the. Of maybe or maybe you're just she's just not mystic maybe you're not you're like I don't connect with that maybe you're just um, a really wise woman okay and you're using your wisdom your experience because water's all about 
experiencing emotion, okay, and love and all those things. So maybe you're counseling, okay, or mentoring, and you come up with a brilliant idea, okay, and uh, maybe, you know, on your spiritual card and what your experience is, is that it's, that idea might pay off for you. You might, uh, it might lead to a possibility um, or an opportunity that you didn't know existed. And maybe it's something that you already know because this is knowledge, okay? This is like wisdom and, you know, um, going deep and finding answers and relating it to how you feel and healing emotions. So uh, maybe you're going to mentor somebody, but maybe you got a brilliant idea and you say, hey, I want to be a professional counselor or I'm going to come up with a way to make money with what I know, with my experience, period, whether it's mystical or not, okay, with my wisdom, with my experience, I'm going to make money. Okay, but I feel like it's a really good opportunity for money. I feel like in, as, in December, okay, so maybe if you're doing this and you come up with an idea on how to make money in December, um, you know, maybe it has to do with teaching somebody a skill you already have, okay? Um, and I'm pretty sure it would. A brilliant way to put that into play, huh? A brilliant idea on how to put that into play. Um, and it's going to, it says new money. I increase new money so this is new idea a new batch of money and it might be something that you need but you got a good outlook on it so positivity breeds positivity so Pisces you might have a very adventurous um, financial and uh, you know uh, intuitive month this month on your great ideas this is the month of brilliant ideas and a way to put your needs and your wants and your actions, your trusted knowledge and experience to work to create this perfectly balanced financial ecosystem as well as emotional happiness ecosystem, okay? It's like everything is everything and you're putting it together, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful month of December, Pisces. And if you'd like a private reading, you can reach me at facebook.com slash hippiechicktarot. And I'd be happy to read for you. And I hope your month is wonderful. We will see you next month. Bye-bye.